What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today I wanted to talk about can you use Microsoft Word on a Chromebook? So we're going to assume that a lot of people who are going to be trying to use Microsoft Word have a newer Chromebook and they're going to try and access that through the Google Play Store for Chrome OS. And this only makes sense because on Android, when you do a search for Microsoft Word on the Play Store, you get these results. But that's where you're gonna find that the Play Store on Android varies from the Play Store on Chrome OS because when you do the same search on Chrome OS, you get these results. All right, so if you're anything like me, you are going to look for options. And the thing is, when you do do a search for Microsoft, you do get the Microsoft OneDrive app that shows up. So I went ahead and downloaded the Microsoft OneDrive app. And at first I was a little concerned because it showed up in the small format that you would see on Android. But once I started up, I was able to resize it full screen and then work from there. So I was in the OneDrive app, I could see my files. So I went ahead and I clicked on one of the documents and I got this message here. Now what I would say on Android is that you just have to go ahead and download Microsoft Word and that would be a program that could open this file but Microsoft Word isn't on the Play Store for Chromebook. Okay, so the next step was to find a program that could open up these documents from the Microsoft OneDrive. So I always use Google Docs, so I went ahead and downloaded it here just to show off. But basically I was able to open those documents once I had Google Docs and I was able to edit them, but then that's when I ran into the next problem. So once the documents were edited, the only options I had for saving it were either on the Google Drive or to the computer itself. I could not re-upload them back to the OneDrive. So this just didn't work at all. So it was back to the drawing board. I had to look for another program from the Google Play Store. And the good news is there are quite a few. I went with Polaris Office to see if maybe this would work because I've used it in the past and it works okay. The nice thing about Polaris Office is that it does have its own cloud storage, but you should be able to access other cloud storages such as the OneDrive or the Google Drive. Polaris Office works just as good as Microsoft Word or Google Docs, but the problem that I had with it were the ads. Some of the ads would take up the whole screen or they would show up in weird places and you could accidentally click on them and have a web page open or some other page and you're wondering how you got there and then you go ahead and close it and you see just how that happened. All right, so everything seems to be working perfectly, right? Actually, no, uh, because I went ahead and I tried to open up the Word files uh, in Polaris Office, and then I went ahead and I got this weird message. So basically nothing is working here. Uh, so this method of trying to access it through the Play Store still isn't working, and uh, we are just gonna stop here for today. So the second method to access your Microsoft Word documents on a Chromebook is really just to use a web browser and put in the Microsoft Word address. Now this address, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description, but I'll also put it somewhere here in the video so you can go ahead and see that. And basically, once you get into that website, it will look just like Microsoft Word as if it were on your desktop, but it's in a web browser and it's really easy to work with from there. I don't use Microsoft Word. I use Google Docs. I used to use Microsoft Word, but I switched over because I have an Android phone and I use Google Docs on there, but then I got the Chromebook and I just continued that. Microsoft Word is pretty good, but Google Docs to me feels a little bit more simpler and it's not really hard to learn if you know Microsoft Word. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you can support the channel, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll see my future videos coming out. And until next time, Leon checking out.